The winners of the Moody's Mega Math Challenge for 2010, Montgomery Blair High School Team 141 from Silver Spring, Maryland. Definitely when we were up there, I, I think I can speak for all of us when I say that we were really feeling the energy, we were really getting to the swing of things. I mean, we worked really well together. I mean, we all loved just working with each other and cooperating. So, I mean, it was a very synergistic experience and we all had a lot of fun. We really put a lot of math in our paper. We knew that this is a mathematics competition and we knew that the way to really get into this is not to just do research, it's to actually do math, come up with your own stuff. So we consciously tried to do that the entire time. We tried to come up with our own models, figure out the math behind it. And so we think that might have been one of the factors that made our paper stand out. I was on a Moody's team last year, and last year it was a different problem. It was about the stimulus plan. And we didn't know anything about the stimulus plan going in. So naturally, we spent the first couple hours researching the stimulus plan. But the problem is we spent so long actually researching that we didn't have time to do anything original. And our paper, we ended up citing a lot of very eminent uh, statisticians and economists, but we did not have any models of our own. And as Coach Tyne put it, if this were a humanities contest, you would have won. But it's not. It's a math contest. So yeah, that's some great advice for teams next year. You need to do the research to know what you're talking about, but at some point it's time to move on to the math and do as much math as possible. There was a lot of math in our paper, but also after the competition we went back and revised a lot of it and did more, even more math, and so I think that impressed the judges even more. In addition to math, I think a lot of the teams had statistical models, but we didn't just do what we learned in statistics class. We pulled in stuff from other classes, like we actually created computer simulations for some of the problems. And that gave us sort of the numerical accuracy we were looking for, but it wasn't the traditional statistical methods that most teams might use. Focus on your math. <laughs> math, and, math, and more math. And, 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 and get, stay excited. I mean, the, the reason, well, certainly one of the reasons that we did well is because we were completely excited about this. This was at the forefront of our minds up until the day of the competition. And then when we found out that we were coming here, I mean, just coming here is a big honor. We were ecstatic and we spent many hours preparing. So just be excited about it and do your math.